So I'm Chloe, I'm a senior, and I'm presenting on humanities and human-centered design. Uh, so I'm an English and media studies major, and so like very humanities-based. So before I got into this whole design thing, I really didn't know what it was about, and everyone I knew who was in it was like um, a CS major, or like cog sci, or they were like art, so I was like, is there really a place for me like in this, but to combine my English and media studies with design? Um, but I knew I really wanted to do it, so I was like, okay, I'll just try it out and I'll see what happens. Uh, so I took a whole bunch of courses. Um, so yeah, a whole bunch of courses and also some like clubs, things like that. So on the left you see like Design Innovation 90-4, which is uh, Design Foundations of the Jacobs Institution. So that was really just going through um, basics of what design, human centered design process is. I also took Info C103, uh, History of Information, which taught me about, I guess, like the broad overview of historical social context that uh, technology exists in. Um, then I also took Info 213 this semester, User Interface Design, um, which really went into specific methodologies and how to really use them um, well in the um, for human centered design. And IR 186, Product Management, which I think people tell me about the business landscape that uh, design or product comes out into. And I also did Berkeley Innovation, um, which is an off club. <laughs> uh, we are here, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, uh, I really learned a lot from that club about what human centered design is and what it is like to like go into it as a career. Um, but through all these courses, I did a whole bunch of projects, and uh, so these are like the for the sake of this presentation, they're mostly like the digital projects that I worked on. Um, but I really did get to touch upon a lot of different um, categories, which I found really fun. Um, yeah, and I also got to work on like, a lot of interdisciplinary teams. So these were the people that I really didn't expect to be able to work on a team with. They really contribute meaningfully to before I got to this whole field. Um, so that's like, uh, for example, uh, like CS PhDs or like bachelor's of engineering students. Like I was like, what? I'm this random like humanities major. Like why am I in the same team with these people? But actually, I was able to really um, learn a lot from them and also learn a lot about how the process of human centered design actually maps really well with um, a lot of what I learned in humanities classes. So on one side I have like, writing an essay, and on the other side I have HCT methodology, and actually it's very similar. Um, like when I started an essay, I really wanted to try to understand the prompt and the existing literature, so you can probably look up some articles about the current discourse. Um, that's really similar to how like, in HCT you really want to understand the problem space and understand what's currently going on with the issue that you want to tackle. Um, you also like, close read the text uh, for HCD, you really like, conduct user research to really understand what's going on. Um, and then I usually put essays just like bind up ideas, which is like ideation, it's where you get all your post-its put up into the wall, um, and then you synthesize ideas. Um, and really like a rough draft is like a look by prototype, and when you get to like usability testing, it's like getting feedback. Um, but what I found really cool about HCD was that, or human centered design, is that when you, your final product is not just for yourself, it's not just like for a very like, limited crowd, like about like, this theory in Shakespeare. Um, beyond that, it's also about like you really want to make a product that people really enjoy and that people have fun. Uh, actually, like, or actually helps improve their lives and help you a little big in a very little way. But like, you know, you can still like uh, do something for other people, which I found really cool. Um, so like, after I started thinking about design in that way, I think I was able to really consider what were ways of really using the process well. Like not just going through the process, but how can I make the process my own and really uh, bring like that humanities perspective into it as like, a process driven type of thing. Uh, for example, uh, when I was at a talk recently, actually, someone was like, oh, like the design process is a silver bullet. Just because you go through the design process doesn't mean you don't create a good product. Um, so really thinking about it from a humanities perspective as like, a way of thinking about how can I make this process, uh, like you do this process well, I suppose. Yeah. So um, one of the ways of figuring out the problem, I feel like it's really important to actually understand what problem you're solving for and really know that you have the correct understanding or like a really nuanced understanding of it. Um, for example, in my design innovation class, we did a lot of like uh, problem, I guess, like user user research, user research and things like that to really understand the problem we were attacking. So our prompt was something really broad, it was like make it a more plug app. Uh, but through like in-depth user interviews, I was able to figure out, okay, it's not that people aren't able to physically wake up. Like a lot of people are able to like wake up, but the problem is that they don't feel emotionally prepared to make it up in the morning. So like, maybe it's thinking about, like, oh, I have so many things to do, I'm just exhausted, etc. Like beyond just physical exhaustion, there was a very uh, emotional component to it. Um, so that was like really through doing user interviews with people. So like ask people why to get behind their actions to really like the motivations. 
or like the lack of motivation in this case. Um, yeah. So this was like the alarm clock app that I made that really tried to tackle along the uh, tackle the emotional side and really like ask people, okay, maybe like they can um, have a moment, they can write something thankful the night before, and then they can see it in the morning. Like that was like a possible idea that I came up with for this um, thing. Um, another thing that I really learned uh, via comparing this like, humanities perspective and like design was really that understanding context is super important. So this is context beyond just like uh, it could be like social big context behind it. Like what are the social implications of like for example Airbnb, like the, so the gentrification issue, like has a huge deal with that. Uh, but also like in this an app could be really small scale too. Like just really understanding the context that people use your app. Uh, uh, yeah, then when people use your app. For example, uh, this is for my Info 230 project related airport uh, travel app. So basically the idea is that you go to the airport and then uh, you could get, you could perform these various quests to get rewards. Um, but then when we tested it out, people, people were like, why would it, so we make quests for you probably on the whole page and you could click on this quest kind of thing. Uh, but when people looked at it, they were like, why would I want to go on this quest thing? Like, I just want to get to my like, gate, you know? Uh, so we realized, oh, actually, what's really important to people is that uh, it, we need to make it very, communicate very clearly to people that, oh, um, this quest is actually a part of your airport journey, but that you will like, naturally want to go use it kind of thing. So instead, we included like, a search bar that really prompted people, OK, like, what are you looking for? So they could search, for example, coffee. And when they searched coffee, they would find a uh, quest that would actually motivate them to go to a specific coffee restaurant, coffee shop, for like, a specific discount. That way we drive, like, uh, the restaurants can also get more traffic, and also people would like, it fits more to their journey, right? It's more within their context. Um, so we found that, I found that usability has really helped with this, like really see how a real person might interact with the app within their context. Um, yeah. And then this was also, I also felt like crafting, really like baking an app, like actually like figuring out all the structure, like where the menu goes, what are the menu buttons, what categories go into the menu, really uh, map well with how like you structure an essay. Like when you structure an essay, one of the biggest things is that you really want to bring the user with you through the, I guess the user or the reader, the user journey with you um, to really understand where your essay is going. Like if they see a point that doesn't make any sense to them, they're going to be like, what is going on? I don't understand this essay. Um, so actually, that actually uh, is very close to how like an app works. Um, so like, you can see like examples of some like flows kind of going on here. Um, like for this one on the left, it was like a fitness tracking app and we had like two things going on. We had this thing where like people could exercise and get points and then via those points customize their character. So like our challenge there was figuring out, okay, how can people know that these points immediately back to their character and how does that all work? So like, we had some like visualizations of like, oh, like, this is like where your points are, these are your stats. Um, like when you put on an item, you get like, more stats kind of thing. Uh, but this other thing, it was also like, uh, we had to kind of pair an added kid interface back into one because it was like, trying to encourage parents and kids, or kids to brush better. But what we found was that actually like uh, parents felt weird for giving their kids like this tech to teach them how to do something, but they felt like there should be more relationship. So one idea we came up with, like, okay, like maybe we can get uh, the parents can directly award kids to be inside the app for the thing. So like the kid would get directly awarded in the app, they would get rewarded by the parents. So like that whole uh, just to figure out how those relationships work together within this app and how it makes sense in the infrastructure. Um, so like those are just a few of the things that I learned. I felt like um, like just thinking about humanities at HCD and doing it together and how it can really like um, beyond just like, oh maybe I can write things for the app, like something simple like that, uh, beyond how like beyond just like that very basic level of like uh, contribution, how can humanities and how my humanities background really contributes to uh, my education or my like learning at HCD as well. Um, yeah, so I guess like one big takeaway or the main takeaway from this is thought about process. Um, that's what I